Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a little quarantine and chill makeup tutorial. I know a lot of people are not working right now and they are supposed to be staying at home. So I really wanted to sit down and kind of chill together, do our makeup together, just kind of, you know, spending time together. I unfortunately don't get to stay home because I'm considered an essential employee. So I still have to go to work while others get to stay home and I am still grateful that I'm working, but I do sometimes wish I wasn't, you know? I just, I feel like I could get a lot of stuff done while I'm at home, whereas on my days off, I really don't feel like I can get anything done. But for today's video, I think I'm gonna do like a red eyeshadow look. I don't think I've done a red eyeshadow look on my channel in a long time, if at all. I don't really recall doing one. So I really wanted to sit down with you guys, chit chat, and get ready with you. So if you guys wanna see what look I come up with, make sure you keep on watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your notifications so you are notified every single time i upload i do upload every week and make sure you check out my social media it is here on the page if you want to follow me and it is also down in the description bar below let's get started guys all right so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in with the jaclyn hill palette and we're going to use the reds in this palette i don't believe i've used the reds in this palette yet i've used the neutrals the pinks and I think that's it, honestly. So we're gonna play with some of the red shades here. I'm really excited. Some of the shades are a little bit patchy, but the red shades, I remember, I feel like when I was swatching them, they kind of looked pretty decent. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna prime with our P. Louise base. How is everybody doing during this crazy outbreak? It's hard for me, especially cause like, you know, I'm still working. So, you know, my family, my boyfriend isn't really protected because I'm still having to go out in public and go to work. But certain jobs like healthcare, law enforcement, grocery store workers, pharmacists, mail workers, you know, we work so you guys can stay home. And I wish people were taking this more seriously. I know a lot of people, particularly my age in their 20s and 30s aren't really taking this seriously. Like I know in LA and in Florida, everybody was at the beach and it's like, oh my goodness, now is a time to slow the spread. It's certainly not gonna stop the spread by being at home, but it will slow it, which is the overall point of staying at home. And it's just really sad that nobody's taking it seriously. I think by now they've closed all the beaches and stuff, which is great because there's absolutely no reason to leave your home right now, unless you need something essential from the grocery store or you need medicine or you're picking up stuff for your loved ones if you're not doing any of those things please stay home i'm just gonna apply some tape to the outer corner i really want this look to be like really sharp and precise so i'm just putting the tape on the back of my hand to kind of get rid of like the tackiness i don't want it as tacky because putting tape on your outer corner like this isn't particularly good because it can like lead to wrinkles and stuff so i always put it on the back of my hand and try to get rid of the tackiness a little bit i know a lot of people are like particularly bored while they're at home and i feel like i would be the same way if i was at home but there are so many things you could be doing Doing. you could be cleaning you could be reading a book you could be doing your makeup you could be playing video games like there's so many things you could be doing at home and while it would be awesome to just stay at home i can see why that would get boring <laughs> i really can <laughs> i'm gonna go in with a morphe m506 brush and we are just going to take this shade right here it's called heart on like a heart on don't get it twisted and we're gonna start by putting that right in the crease i think it is so crazy that hospitals are running out of supplies like we have never seen anything like this like of course we've seen like swine flu and you know influenza and everything but we haven't quite seen it this bad i don't think and i know like at a lot of hospitals they have to rewear the same mask for at least a week their whole shift and you know some people are working eight hour shifts some people are working 12 hour shifts and there's a lot Lot of uproar when it comes to keeping people who are essential employees safe as well as the general public and that's definitely a big concern for me having to still go to work like i just feel like if i can track something the people living with me are ultimately going to get it and i'm not going to be able to protect them and i know that a lot of other people who are in my same boat feel the same way i don't want me 
uploading makeup tutorials and just like youtube videos in general to make it seem like i'm ignoring the problems that are going on in the real world i'm definitely not ignoring them and i do pay close attention to the news although i wish i didn't because my anxiety does get the best of me a lot of times which really sucks but i feel like you know i want my channel to be an outlet for people to kind of forget the negative that's going on in their life or in the world and they can just come to my channel and focus on makeup and positivity so that is why i haven't really talked about it a lot on my other videos and why I'm uploading this video so we can genuinely talk about it but also do our makeup together. So I am going in to this shade quite often. I have to keep like going back in because it is a little bit patchy. Let me zoom you guys in real quick. You can see, I feel like the color payoff just isn't as good as I want it to be. On camera, it's not showing up as red as it is in person. I just think it's like my beauty lights, but this is a really pretty color. The next color that I wanna go in with, we are going to take this berry shade called Next, just a little bit deeper than the color that we just went in with. And we're going to, ooh, this has a lot of kickback in the palette. We're just gonna go right over the same area we just went over. I'm gonna do one eye on camera one eye off to save us some time. I think it's just so insane to me that people aren't getting paid during this pandemic. I think it shows a lot of companies true colors, but I also see from a business standpoint that companies sometimes they can't afford to pay all their employees continuously. So my heart just breaks for the people that are losing their jobs. Like it's it's so sad to me because a lot of us probably live paycheck to paycheck. I'm sure most of the world does. And you know, we don't have access to our 401ks and our savings. It's just my heart really breaks for the people who no longer have jobs and now can't find jobs because places are going to hire right now with this whole pandemic going on. And it's just, it's so sad to me. It's so sad, like, I know I said that I like, I'm keeping up with the news, but I kind of wish I wasn't because it's just so much depression <laughs> in one show, you know what I mean? Like, every time I watch the news, it's always just like more depressing things, more people are dying, and you know, it just seems like we're not seeing any positives, but I do know that once we're able to slow the spread of this virus and our hospitals aren't at full capacity, I know it'll be a lot easier for healthcare officials to handle and we'll have a lot less people getting sick, which is why you should stay at home, practice hand hygiene, don't touch your face, eyes, nose, don't touch anywhere that germs are gonna get into your mucous membranes because that is how you will get sick. Use hand sanitizer often. And also like all the shortages, grocery stores were never gonna close. So the fact that all these shortages keep happening is just, it's ridiculous. I mean, people are hoarding toilet paper. You can't find toilet paper anywhere. I literally went on eBay and toilet paper was like for one roll seven dollars like people are buying it and then selling it for you know 10 times the value of it and it's just sad because people who actually need it can't get it you know, like I just went to the store the other day to get pet food. I didn't have any food for my cats and normally I don't let it get to the bare minimum, but I had no dry food and I went to the store. There was no pet food, zero pet food. I'm like, I don't care about myself, right? If I can't find food, that's fine. But for my pets, they're my priority. And I literally thought I was gonna have to like cook food on the stove for my pets. I was like, oh my God. But I went to a few stores and I finally found pet food and thank God. God I did. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is, I think I'm gonna go in to this shade right here, Living My Best. It actually has some glitter in it, but I want to use it to kind of blend out these two colors. So I'm gonna go right on top and just kind of feather this out just so the line doesn't look as harsh. But yeah, I think it's sad that we're having all of these shortages and you know, companies can't produce things fast enough. It's the same with like healthcare. They can't provide PPE fast enough. And that to me is just so sad. Like. I truly don't think I'm ever going to take for granted the times I was allowed to go out and like able to go out with people like going out to eat, going out with my friends, going to the movies. I don't think I'll ever take those times for granted after this because now it's like, you know, we always take things for granted when we're allowed to do them. But as soon as, you know, those things are taken away from us, it's like, oh, damn you know, like I took that for granted. So I'm definitely never gonna take those things for granted again after this. So I went up a little too high to my brow bone, but whatever, it's fine. We're gonna keep working with it. I'm gonna take a clean, fluffy blending brush. This is a Morphe M441 and just kind of really go in and blend this out. Cause you guys can see there's like 
a super harsh line. Okay, I feel like it's getting worse. Oh my goodness. Okay, I feel like this isn't getting any better, so I'm just gonna move on. So what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm going to cut the crease and I'm gonna use a really small packer brush. This is a Morphe M210. I love this for cutting out the crease and I'm just gonna go in with the P. Louise base that we use and we are just going to cut the crease. Now I'm not really good at this, but we gonna try today, okay? We gonna try. I don't particularly like using the P. Louise base to cut out the crease. I just think it's just not as good as using concealer, to be honest. Okay, wow, I hate what I've done. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna go back in with those red shades. Just kind of go over the parts that I messed up. That's the thing about makeup though, there's no rules and like, it's okay if you mess up. Also, sorry, I keep looking down. That's just like where my mirror is. Okay, cool. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with, mm, what shade? I think I'm gonna go in with this pink shade. Or actually, no, let's go in with this shade here called Crazy. It's like a vampy red purple color. And and I'm just gonna take the same flat brush and we're going to pad this all over the lid. But yeah, I hope everybody stays safe. It's just like, I'm having so much anxiety, like thinking about my family and my friends, my coworkers, just everybody. Like it's definitely been very hard for me for sure. Okay, so I don't really like how this is turning out to be honest, I don't bless you. You guys just hear my cat? <laughs> he just sneezed, but I'm going to go back in with those two red shades and just kind of blend between the plum color that we put down and the reds. Kind of like that. I feel like this is not looking very well. I feel like it's looking super patchy and I just like feel like I can't get it right. Do you ever have makeup days like that? Like that's where I'm at right now. All right. So we are going to remove this tape. Wow. Look at that sharp edge. Fierce. So I think what I'm gonna do for the brow bone is I actually, I think I'm just gonna take her shade I'm In It. It's just like a really pretty pink, pinky white vibe. And I'm just gonna blend that up here. And it gives like, actually I'm just gonna go in then with like the white over top of it just for a more white look. But it, it's like a white with a pink sheen to it. It's really, really pretty. Okay, wow, I don't know if I like this look. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I actually finished this eye and then I went in and redid this one because I, I just I wasn't liking the way it was turning out this eye is darker than this eye as you guys can see it's a little bit darker because I forgot to prime this eye before I went in and redid it so just know that eyeshadow primer you need it because if you want your shadows to pop like this eye you need to use an eyeshadow primer but I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Glitter and I just want to do like a glitter crease kind of I'm like feeling that type of vibe today and this is an amazing glitter I'm just gonna speed through this part because I know it's gonna take me like a year and a half to to finish it, so I'm just gonna speed right through it. Trying to get them even is the hardest part, and if you don't let them dry, like you saw with this one, I got a little bit of glitter below it, you're gonna be upset. So always make sure that you let your glitter dry before you like blink and everything. That's why I'm gonna go in with my fan. Just a tip, don't look up after applying glitter because trust me, it's gonna get everywhere. <laughs> glitter literally gets me from drab to fab in like 0.5 seconds. You can see this look already looks so much better minus like a little bit of glitter that I got there, but whatever, let's pretend that I didn't do that. This is a really good glitter. It does take pretty long to dry though, I will say. So now we can get started with the actual face makeup. For primer, let's go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. We're just gonna put this all over the face. Guys, don't mind me, my nose has anybody else like have been having allergies lately like my nose I normally don't have allergies but my nose has been running for weeks and I don't know what to do about it like I'm not congested or anything but girl my nose is running away and I can't catch it also my skin's not doing so hot as you guys <laughs> <laughs> can see she needs a little bit of help during this quarantine time another thing i would be doing if i was at home is i would be doing more skincare but that is something you should definitely make a as a priority you need to take care of your skin even if you're not going out you still need to take care of yourself take a bubble bath 
apply a mask, give yourself a pedicure. Take this time while you have it because I feel like some of us may take this extra time that we have at home for granted and we're gonna wish we had it back. So try to soak it up and enjoy as much of it as, as you can, even though I get it, it's like a miserable experience for being home for so long. I would be miserable too if I was home for weeks and weeks and weeks. For foundation, we're gonna go in with the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. This is in the shade Fair 25. I haven't used this in a hot second, actually, but I do really, really like it. This one is a little bit, well, it's actually, it, it's a lot yellow. What am I saying? It's not a little bit yellow. It's definitely yellow undertoned. I also have another shade, which is more pink toned. This is the shade, ew, my pump is, Ew, my pump is nasty. I need to clean that. Fair 30, which is more pink tone if you are similar skin tone to mine and you have a rosy or pink undertone, Fair 30 would be your shade. But we are gonna go in and start blending this out. Okay, I definitely applied way too much as you guys can see. So I'm gonna apply some down my neck. I forgot how full coverage this is because I don't use it often. This makeup look is definitely not the type of makeup look you would be doing just to go to the couch. Should I do a makeup look that's kind of like for more stay at home? Cause I will. I just thought about that now. I'm like, oh, this is a little too dramatic to just be staying at home. But I feel like staying at home, that is the best time you can experiment with makeup because you don't have to like go out and see people, you know? So it's okay if it doesn't look good or if you mess up. So this foundation is kind of like a, I would say natural finish, but I definitely went in with way too much as you guys can see. And it's kind of not making my dry spots look good. I will say like all this dryness I have like around my chin and like over here and stuff, it's not looking cute, sis. For concealer, we're gonna go in with the Elf Camo Concealer and we are going to be applying the shade Fair Warm just under the eyes. I'm literally just gonna put like two dots because this is so full coverage. You do not need a lot, honey. I, the first time I used this, I went way overboard and it looked very cakey. So you only need the smallest amount, as you guys can see. Very, very full coverage. Like, look at that. All my dark circles are gone. I think another thing that aids to my anxiety is kind of the not knowing part. Like, the fact that you can show symptoms of this virus and not even know you have it is legit crazy to me. And I think that's the part that's most nerve wracking along with like not knowing when we're gonna be able to go outside again and like go travel. Of course you can step outside, but you do wanna maintain that six foot rule. That's just a CDC guideline. So it's perfectly okay to go for a hike and go for a run. It's just when you come in contact with people, you need to stay six feet away from them. So their droplets don't get on you. It might tip my beauty blender from the eyeshadow oh my goodness let's go in with some powder we're just going to take the elf halo glow setting powder i actually love this setting powder it's so good and we're just going to pat this underneath the eyes and we're going to set the whole entire face this is definitely a foundation you have to set for sure because it's very tacky so make sure you do set it if you're using a mattifying foundation a lot of times you don't really have to set those because they kind of set themselves so keep that in mind if you're using like a dewy finish or like a natural finish and your face is tacky that means you need to set it i don't like to apply a lot of setting powder i'm just going in with like a little light dusting just because i don't want to like look too cakey you know what i'm saying so i don't like to apply a lot of powder now we're gonna go in with bronzer this is the maybelline city bronzer i love this stuff this is in the shade 200 and let's add some color to this face we're gonna chisel out our cheekbones kind of snatch our face make it kind of look sucked in you know what i'm saying bronzer can be your best friend if you are trying to mimic nice cheekbones a smaller forehead get rid of that double chin a snatched jawline. Bronzer can be your best friend. And contour. I consider them like the same thing, but I know not everybody does. I put a little bit on my forehead, but it's definitely not necessary. But if you want a smaller forehead, girl, go for it. So we brought a little bit of color back to the face. We're already starting to look a little bit more natural. Let's go in with blush. We're going to take the, you can't even see it. Hello, Catrice X Iman blushes. They are so beautiful. Oh, you guys hear my cats fighting? Y'all better knock it off. I'm going to take the two bottom shades and mix them. That's what I've been doing 
ever since i got this palette like they're so pretty oh my cats are about to have a fight y'all better stop it i love blush like look how much better i look with blush i know you probably think the same thing about yourself when you do your makeup you're probably like wow i look so much better with this blush same sis i feel you i like to use this like what are these called duo fiber blush brushes for blush kind of my thing actually and if you go a little overboard just go with your beauty blender clean it up a little bit you know the drill boom i feel like i look so much better let's go in with some highlighter we're gonna use the airspun loose highlighter the loose face highlighter this is blinding and it's like five dollars okay you need to get it i think i featured this on my video like only once but wait just just wait wait till you see it oh you need to go pick this up right now. Look how beautiful, look how, look how blinding that is. And it's five, five dollars. Are you gagging me with a spoon? What? Oh my goodness. This is so good. If you like loose setting powders or if you like loose highlighters, you're gonna love this. Another really good one is from Makeup Revolution. They have a really nice one as well. I'm not really the biggest loose highlighter fan. I kind of like powder highlighters more, but you know, sometimes I just get in the mood for a good loose highlighter. All right, let's go in and finish the under eyes. I'm gonna take that dark red shade that we went in with for, and we're just gonna apply this right to the lower lash line and kind of extend it up into the outer corner and with this eye again just putting that right on the lower lash line i am not a lower lash line freak so i tend to kind of stick to the same colors i used on my top lid but yeah i kind of like a blown out lash line and now we're going to go in with the original crease shade called heart on and just kind of blend that into the deeper red i forgot to do my brows we will get to that i just realized i don't have any brows on how embarrassing <laughs> wow okay let's do our brows now i'm gonna take this elf brow pencil i think it's what is it called instant lift brow pencil i actually really like this and i'm gonna speed through this part because this part also takes me half a century to complete so let's just get right through it Doing my brows is literally my least favorite part of my whole makeup routine, like, I hate it. Now I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Wow Brow. This is just a tinted brow gel. I always start in the center here of my brow, and then I'll go to the beginning, just so that way I use less product in the front, because sometimes it can get a little bit goopy if you use too much product in the front. All right, brows are on. Now we're gonna go in with an inner corner and a brow bone highlight. I realized that I didn't do that either. For the brow bone highlight, honestly, I'm just gonna go in with the white shade in here called Certified. Nothing fancy and we're just going to put this on the brow bone and we're gonna go right here to the inner corner. Of course, it's gonna make like a little like a pink moment because if you mix red and white, you're gonna get pink. Boom, there we go. I'm gonna gonna apply some eyeliner real quick actually i'm just gonna do a white eyeliner i think i was gonna do a red eyeliner but let's just do white it's gonna make our eyes pop you can always use a nude color as well i think that would look really nice Ooh, look how much our eyes like pop with that white i love it all right, I'm gonna do mascara and lashes off camera and I'll be right back to finish the look. All right, you guys, so I went in with some Ardell lashes. I used ColourPop Lippy Stick in the color BFF and I used the NYX Lip Lingerie Push Up in the color seduction so that is it for the finished look i hope you guys like it if you do make sure you give this video a thumbs up again please stay home only go out if you need essential things check in with your loved ones just because you can't hang out with them doesn't mean you can't facetime them zoom them video chat them in any way to kind of check in with them and you know make it feel like you're spending time together this would be the perfect time to get a hobby uh, make sure you're washing your hands don't touch your face and yeah i hope all of you guys stay safe make sure you guys click the like button if you like this video give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit your post notification bell so you are notified every time i upload and make sure you check out my social media links they're down in the description bar i will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye guys